What's up everybody? It's Captain Brad here with Choctatchee Bay Fishing Charters. It is Tuesday morning. It is a beautiful morning now, guys. I am just now coming out of Aliqua Bayou. Believe it or not, on the way out, I seen some menhaden. We call them LYs here, pogies in Louisiana. There's all kinds of different names for them. They were popping everywhere in there. I threw the net. I got a live well full of like three and a half inch LYs. So it's just going to be a great day, guys. Sit back and I'm going to go get us some good footage. All right, guys, we finally made it out to the spot. I have already seen, as I was pulling in here, getting off plane, I had already seen like 10 fish. So it's going to be a good morning. Super low tide right now. We're at the bottom of the outgoing tide. It's just going to change and start coming in. So the water level will rise. <clears throat> I've seen a couple of redfish actually hit the surface. Like they're feeding this morning. It's going to be a, it's going to be a good day. All right, guys, so I just actually caught a redfish, and my camera wasn't on. <laughs> so, um, which you guys wouldn't have wanted to see it anyway, because as soon as I hooked it and I set the hook, I forgot I had my drag super, super loose. So I just spider webbed like 50 yards of line. I had to, like, pull off the reel and retie a new leader on, a new hook. So you guys probably would have laughed if you would have seen that. So I'm glad you didn't. Anyway, uh, there's some more redfish right here on this houseboat. Same little houseboat uh, structure I was fishing yesterday. But there's a couple of reds sitting right inside of it. So I'm going to uh, toss them a bait and see what happens. All right, we got one right out here, right in here. Chuck this bait out in front of him, see what happens. He's starting to ease this away. Okay, I got two, so there's this one here, and then there's another one like right over here. Wind's starting to pick up. This redfish, literally he just like stopped in that hole and dug around that's pretty cool must be looking for a crab or something he just my bait is right beside a pothole he just stopped and dug around in that pothole <laughs> instead of eating the bait that's crazy all right I got another red right out here somewhere. Where did he go? Oh, I guess I lost him. I'll chuck it out there anyway, just in case. All right, I got one right here. You guys can probably see him. He's right down there. Let's see what happens here. Do you guys see him? Right there. Right here. He's like literally face down in the dirt. That's a good that's a good slot fish. He's got some wide shoulders on him. I threw the bait too close to him. My bait's doing everything it can to stay away from that redfish. 
having to recast and recast because he's just running right right away from me. All right, they're pretty damn close to each other. Oh, he turned on him. He won't seem bad. Oh, he's won't seem bad. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Watch this, it's gonna be a sick eat. Oh, are you serious? Dang it, bait fish. Bait fish ran away from him. That's sick. Oh, that'll make you so sick. Try again. That red wants that fish so bad. Dude, he's all over him. Come on, eat him. Eat him. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Look at it, look at him, look. Oh my God. That's freaking sick, dude. Does he have him? Oh no, he's stalking him though. Oh, wow. That is just so cool to see all this. Dang, and I'm just floating away too far away. That's just sick, dude. That is so awesome to watch these redfish and how they act and everything firsthand with your own eyes. I'm gonna ease up here. We'll try him again. Stand by. All right, I see several reds over here towards these pelicans on these pilings on the end of the dock, the old dock here. Just gonna. Sneak in there nice and easy, hopefully, and not spook them. And see if we can get one to eat this bait. I've been out the last few days, and I know for a fact, you know, I can catch them on lures. They'll bite lures and several different ones. But when I came across these live menhaden today, I was like, I got to try these out, man. Just literally hook them in the back, free line them out when you see a red and it's pretty cool to watch them stalk these, stalk their prey, then eat it. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see him. He's on the other side of this little bit of grass right here on our left side. Right about, right about here. I'm going to toss this bait out in front of him and see what happens. Well, crap. I threw it too close to him. That was my fault. We know for a fact he wants to eat it though. Oh, I threw the bait off. He gets a freebie. Let me get another one. Y'all see the red? Right about here somewhere. It's headed to the right. I believe this guy's pretty spooked already, so I don't think we're gonna mess with him anymore. One last cast on him. Let's get it out in front of him and see what happens. He's right down here, guys. Like, right in here. Uh, actually, right here somewhere. Alright, my bait's right here. Buying. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's moving a little faster. Come on. Chase it down, dude. Nope. 
Dang. All right. Time to move on to the next redfish. So I got a little guy right here in front of the trolling motor. Let's see if he's hungry. Alright, he sees it. Doesn't seem too, too interested. Freaking wind's blowing me away from these fish. Dude, my bait fish, they, every time I throw it out, they run away from those reds, like, as fast as possible. Ooh, there's a nice one right there. Let's see if we can get it down there. There's a nice one just past where I landed, right there on the end of the dock. Oh, there's a monster way out there. Let's see if we can cut him off. I don't think I can throw that far without throwing my bait off. I hit him right on the head. <laughs> that was no good. This little guy is still right here beside the boat on the right side. We'll see if we can't flip it over there to him. He's got his head facing away from me and I want to spook him too bad by throwing up in the middle of those pilings, but that's what I'm going to have to do. So he'll see it. Ooh, never mind. I'm going to stick it out because I got a freaking monster way out here in front of the boat. Right out in here on a pothole. I believe I can get his attention. He may move up a little closer. All right. Here we go. Let's try this. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. This is going to be insane if this fish bites. He's not spooked yet, so... He's literally, this redfish is going from pothole to pothole. And I guess seeing if there's any crabs and whatnot in it. Oh, it came off as soon as it hit the water. My last little bait.
These are the baits I'm using, guys. Oh, oh, come on, dude. Alright, these guys. Literally hooking them in the back up here, right below the dorsal, because you see how dark it is? Your hook will blend in better if, instead of hooking it at the bottom. Like, I hooked it in the bottom to begin with, and all the fish were running from it, so when you hook them up in the darker area the hook kind of blends in and uh, they won't see it as easily all right guys i got one right up here in this pothole right up in here let's sling this bait out there to him and see what happens I love it when they're just easing along like that, just going pothole to pothole and unbothered until I get here. Do you guys see him down there? My bait fish swim right around the back of him. <laughs> Do you see the red now? Like right out here. I gotta find some grass. They're more willing to eat over the top of the grass. When I caught that first one this morning, it was on grass. So here's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna change locations. I'm gonna go down there i'm gonna go down to like legendary and lulu's and get it on the uh, south side um that's, i seen a whole bunch of trout down there yesterday so i'm gonna go down there and try these guys out on the uh on those trout i'll check back when i get over all there. right guys i just made a location change i am over here near sandestin on four mile point and i have not seen anything yet but they should be something around. Just got to get a little further down. The closer to the grass beds or grass flats we get, the uh, the better it's going to be. But hopefully we see something soon. And then guys, I don't know what that is right there. I want to say it's a big black drum. And my bait is wrapped up. know what that is let's see it should bite oh it's a, it was a freaking monster redfish that was like a 50 inch redfish laying there holy cow do you see that guys she was super spooky there was no way i could have caught her anyway wow big fish all right guys i just got down here to you can see the mid-bay bridge over there i'm on the south side just east of lulu's uh right here at the regatta bay golf course you see the golf course in the background there i actually pulled up here threw a bait out and caught a 12 13 inch red right off the bat um, i was trying for a bigger one but a little one came out of the grass here and and ate i'm gonna keep on looking i came down here yesterday and there was trout everywhere i'm seeing more reds down here today um hopefully we hook up shortly on a big old trout all right, I see a few big trout right here. Let's give them a shot. Where did they go? I lost them in the glare. They're right out here somewhere. Oh, there's a big trout laying down there on the, going around the front of the boat by the trolling motor. Oh, there they are right here next to the boat. Let's get it out there. Come on, big trout. You know you want it. Let 
Yeah, there's some pretty trout right here. Some good 17 inchers right here. Come on, spin around on the bait. Got him. Did y'all see that? He blew up on the bait. Got him. Go baby. That's a probably a twenty-five inch red. Nice. Oh, it's a beautiful fish, y'all. Oh.